Greetings, guys. It's your girl, Connie, from Passion for Fitness. I'm stopping by, first and foremost, to say hello there, but also to stop by just for a few minutes out your day to talk about supplements. Supplements is a word we hear all the time, especially if you are an active person and you are constantly in the gym, at the gym, looking at articles or what have you about health and wellness. We hear this word all the time. Now, a lot of us have uh, our own opinion about supplements, and I totally respect that, but I'm just here to shed light on supplements and hopefully to debunk some of the things that people have attached to supplements that are absolutely just not true. So let's just begin with this. Now again, it's totally up to you about supplements. I'm just giving my humble opinion and also what I have learned from, from research and also being in the industry and also as a person who takes supplements on a regular basis. Um, I'm good with them. I say that and I explain a little bit more. So let's get ahead. One, why should I take a supplement? And I always tell people a supplement, you need to think about it like this. A supplement is only there to fill in the gaps between your nutrition. And I think of it like a piece of Swiss cheese with all the holes in it. A supplement fills in them holes when it comes to your nutrition. Because at the end of the day, majority of 99.9% .9 of us do not sit down every day and eat a balanced nutritional meal. It's just not how we are, especially in this generation. It's just not conducive to most of our lifestyle. So that's why it's so important to understand that piece of it and understand you just need a supplement and it's just what, how it sounds is supplementation for your lack of a particular vitamin or mineral that you're not getting from your body, making it naturally, or either getting it from your food in enough amount to make it efficient and beneficial to your health and wellness. Next, core supplements. Now, there are different types of uh, supplements, but I'm just going to talk about quickly the core supplements. Vit what I suggest for you, vitamin D, omega-3, green tea, zinc, magnesium, vitamin K and vitamin K, vitamin K1 and 2, and whey protein is amazing. Quick synopsis, why I love these supplements and I always try to keep them as a core in my life and encourage others to do so. Vitamin D, awesome for fat burning, helps with depression. We're not outside like we used to, so they're so important to have. Omega-3, also help with inflammation, helps prevent heart disease, all these wonderful things. Green tea, a fat burner, energy, it also helps with the prevention of cancer, zinc, magnesium, vitamin K, and, a, and vitamin K1 and 2. All are amazing just for keeping your body healthy, and they all have their reasons why they're so important. I'm not going to hold you to that, but also, lastly, I want to touch on whey protein. We hear about whey protein all the time, and many people drink it, but don't know truly why people in my industry is always promoting it. And the reason why we're always promoting it, just to make sure you understand, guys, is that the reason why we do is because it's one of the best digestive protein you can take. That means it gets to your bloodstream in very fast to the point it can be beneficial to you much more quicker than any other protein. So that's why we always talk about whey protein is I recommend that you can take it before and after a workout. It'll be good on both rounds. Just make sure you're doing 20 grams to 30 grams per serving and try to get something one that is five grams less than sugar. That'd be an idea. So then you end up asking me the question, well, won't a daily vitamin help that? or just take care of all that. Nope, not necessarily. I'm gonna give you this, this example. A daily vitamin is pretty much for the average person who's pretty much not as active as you may be. So a daily vitamin, I would use myself for an example, a daily vitamin would not be enough nutrients that I need to sustain my health and wellness because of what I put out with my workouts. And I'll give you an example. So say for instance, you take your daily vitamin Okay, using this cup, bear with me. You fill it up. So you take your daily vitamin and it gets you to there. And then you go have your workout. So right now it's here. So you have your workout. You do these strenuous workouts, especially for me. And then when I finish my workout, what happens literally. The nutrients are used. So they go back down. So that's why you have to understand that. Your lifestyle depends greatly on how much you need of each vitamin and mineral. That's how you have to look at it. Now, I don't want to make it complicated for you, but that's why you have to understand protein for me may be a different amount than protein for you. 
but the constant key denominator, common denominator that it is important. So I ask and encourage you guys all to do a little bit more research about supplements, get more information about it, understand that it is there to help promote and benefit health and wellness. It's not designed, nor has it ever said it cures anything. Make sure you understand that. Try to invest in the best quality that you possibly can find because it's very important. You must understand if something is cheap, it's a reason why it's cheap. And many times the pro, uh, manufacturer may use fillers instead of the actual vitamin mineral to get that capsule to you at a less price. So you know where you need to be as far as financially, as far as doing this. Just make sure you do the research. And if you have any questions, any concerns about it, get in contact with me. I'd love to talk to you guys in more detail about it. Until next time, the journey continues. You know, God bless.